and then it's just going because I'll edit it. Yeah. And I'll get this one started. What I'll what i do you want do you want to go do you want me to go through the panel first so you understand what some of the things do and then you can chug away. Like what did you want to do? You just want to. Um, it's just, not. It's not that difficult. It's very similar to the. It. Yeah, it's not difficult. It's, it's not that. It. Yeah. Ooh, it's yeah. not going to be dissimilar to what you've already got. Yeah. You know. We'll just go through it. And then yeah, that, that's probably going to work. Yep, yeah, that's going to work good. All right, yeah. that looks good from, from this angle up here too. Okay. Well, they can see here. Then because yep. this focuses here. But there, yeah, I should be able to get it right. Okay. Now just to, um, so just showing you back tack. See your back tacks here. See you can cycle through. So you uh, have yep. your, your first back tack. Yep. This this is your beginning Double. range, okay? So so off, the right? Beginning. Off. Yep. And at the moment they're one, you adjust your plus and minuses here to yep. increase. That's yeah, so it's still one forward and back and one forward and back at the end. So yep. just a very nice little little, little, little back tack. Stitch length at five mil. Here's yep. your plus and minus. Yep, so I can yep. change my stitch length there. Yep. Um, what else? Oh, now this does pattern stitch too, so this does this decorative stitching. Ah, because it's got a stepping mode, it'll do yeah. the backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So you can do like a decorative nice. stitch if you want a bold decorative stitch yeah. or a triple stitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that does that automatically. Yeah, like, some, like if on a bag, you might want it on a pocket. Really heavily bag, reinforced, like bold. Bag, yeah, bold. Straps. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah. and um, speed, yeah. Rabbit and turtle. Oh, I like that. Turtle, yeah. Rabbit and turtle. Yeah. <laughs> um, program, that's to go into your settings, which you've already done. Um, that's how to get you back in your straight stitch. Have you accidentally done your bar tack or your oh, program no. tack yep. or one of straight these tacks? Stitch. Yep, when it's got something weird, just hit that little dotted line and, and that's your free sewing. That takes you back to normal. Your memory's for entering things. Yep. Um, back to take, beginning. And then end. simple needle up down. These are your feet oh. options, so you'll see them down here. Oh, yep. So now when you, after you cut, it's going to stay up for a long time. Yep. So you can get the next bit underneath if you wanted to. Yep. Um, the next that one is on. um, the pivot. So it'll lift when you're pivoting. Uh, yeah, it just lift. lifts a bit and then yeah. you can turn. And yeah, yeah. Lift, it just like lifts that. so you can pivot. Um, and then and then both of them on and then yeah. both off. Yeah. See and the that's button. just your... Cut them on off. Here, cut trim on off. off. Needle yeah. up and down. Needle up now this, yeah. this, now if you if you heel back on your pedal now, you'll get the okay. lift up as per usual. Get my leg back in. Oh, let me move Now I've just moved, camera. that's all adjustable, that lever, so let us know what you want to do with that. still looking good here. Let me get that right. Yep. Yep. Okay. So you've got um. Oh, it's a I'll let you. Now I can just see. So yeah. that's cutting off about here, oh, and, yeah. and you can see right across. Oh, yeah. So um, you've got your knee lever there, your electronic knee lever. So you oh. find that so it's oh, really light. So I went to whack that really and, hard. Yeah, I know. Light yeah. Down. Oh, that's just so touch sense. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's so light. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. of course you've got your heel back, your heel back heel situation back. as well. Yeah. Oh, that. Um, the height of that. Yeah, it's massive. I get yeah. my whole finger on Yeah, yeah, it's really high, really high. Um, so that's the there your two options. Now, if you push that button with the screwdriver, see the foot with the screwdriver symbol? It's got like a funny, yeah, yep. that one? Yep. You push that now. Now, oh. see how it goes zero. Now, yeah. uh, now, hang on, try your heel back. Heel back? Yeah. Now, now oh. you guess your knee lever works. Oh. So now... You can flip that... between the two. You can have both on that's or one on. Good idea. So if you hit it again, it'll say one, one, which means one. on, and now both of them are on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So foot, if you want to, so if knee, we, foot, yeah. knee. I could have a gym workout while I'm at it. There you go. <laughs> and that's no, no extra charge. No extra charge, yeah. <laughs> but see how quiet it is? I know. You know, for your heel back. And you can just use that. You can just lift it a little bit. If you just want to pivot, you can it's just, you know. Oh, you hurt, yeah. Foot. yeah. Yeah, if you, yeah. Turn that off. And now that's off. Yeah, it's just really nice and light. So you can you can use a combination of whatever you want, um, and then yeah you've got your slow start there, which is your funny curvy arrow yeah. thing. Um, above that you've got the curvy yeah. arrow. That's just your slow start. You leave that on. Yeah. Um, it just starts off nice, um, and you'll see now you you'll notice now your back tack speeds are much slower. So that's going to be a, a big benefit because the back tack speeds at the back the end back tack's not too bad because at the end back tack you sort of just got your bag there and you're yeah. just finishing yeah but when you're starting you're, 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 oh. you're aligning things aren't you so you're yeah. starting and it pulls the thing out of your hand yeah yeah because it goes so fast yeah. and you're like oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll see where it is now so we can make good. it slower so when that's we'll good. wind a bobbin yeah um, let's get a bobbin wind. so that's pretty conventional on the top um, and, and I'll, we've gone racy red to match the machine right. perfect you know. match that's now, essential no hole yet no, so, so under. Do, yeah, so yeah. just do your wrap. I yeah. think you're showing that do like one wrap 
from this, this from this way, side and then underneath it um, and then push your bobbin down like that and push it down push your bobbin down oh, firm so it nips the thread this. underneath I've done it again. yep and, yeah. then, and then then you can just cut your tail off cut tail over there off. somewhere could you yeah. and your trim and then that's that's the way to do it with no holes in no your bottom. Holes. And a lot of them now come no holes. Yeah, so yeah. if you do that now, if we lift that up, it won't, and then yeah. you can activate your bobbin. Activate it your won't bobbin. chew your feet away. Yep, yeah. let's go for it, hey? Yep. Okay, here goes bobbin. Oh, listen to how quiet. Yeah, they're really nice and quiet. Oh. Yep. Um, and watch our speed nice up. nice looking thread. Yeah, it is nice. It's, yeah. I'm really happy with it. I'm really, yeah. really happy with the thread. Um, on here. So yeah, once you hit the rabbit or the hair, once you stop, Yep. There you go, oh, she's off. Oh, she's off. Yeah. Now that'll be That's quite firm to done. get off now, I would imagine. Yep. Oh, I could have used it. Yeah, well, you but need I'll it. I'll tell you what, these scissors, oh my God, my yeah. jacks. They're nice. Oh, yeah. they really oh I love them. Love them. So then get so, rid of your other little tail now that you've got there. Yeah. Because that'll cause you grief. Like that. Probably a, maybe a little bit full, but... A little bit full. So you can adjust, the, what you can do, let me just get your screwdriver. Yeah. Okay. When you get to we'll this get point, we can right actually check. So when we get to this point now, that you can just... Off. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do this. Yeah. So this little, little bit of flap here. Oh. Instead of undoing the screw, we're just going to do this. Oh. And that just, that so just flicks it off yeah. earlier. Yeah. And you can Drop just adjust it in area. area. Unwinding in a few places. Get these off. Now you can use your needle up down button here if you want um, to um, bring your needle up so it's out of your way. Got a couple going at the same time there for you. Yeah. Don't you hate that? Yeah, just strip it off. And I didn't it's... put my eyes on, did I? You got better eyes than me. I should have got my glasses on. I've got, my, I've got a bionic lens. <laughs> nice. Here we go. So the bobbin, the bobbin's yep. the same scenario. So you can reach in underneath. It's the same yep. as your other one. Oh, um, yeah, there's not much room in. there, but it's exactly the same yeah. as what you used to. Yep, straight in. Yep. Oh look, here's one already wound in there with a pretty blue. Oh yeah, that's this yeah. thread. Tell me about this thread. Yeah, this so is it's um. Nice. So well, I used to use that. That's actually Seraphil, the one that's on there, which I've used, which oh. I've always liked, but it's too expensive. Um, yep. It's um, and oh, I've yeah. had um, ladies say it's that it coarser. shreds a bit. Yeah, it shreds a bit. It's That's not really like smooth. A, not like it's yeah, it's not stiff and wide. No, it's not like, at all. It's got a nice um, sheen. So yeah, they're they're, they're nine hundred meter spools. Um, and so I'm retailing I'm just them threading for, normally this yeah, way. Yeah, so when you drop your bobbin, it spins same. clockwise. Yeah. Get myself into my slot here. Yep. Yep. And we're in, we're locked. Okay, so your threading on the top will be very similar, so rip it out of that yep, one. rip her out. I generally just go through the two holes, um, only because, um, uh, for no particular reason, because that thread doesn't need much untwisting. See how it comes off the spool, it's pretty flat. Yeah. It's not all curly-whirly. So in, Yeah, and over, then that's it. In. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. And then up over, do the little twisty through your, yeah, that one's probably the same. Am I just coming yep. up yep. in? through that one, and then around. And around. And up. Yeah. Yeah. So probably pretty probably much standard. Yeah. They're nearly all like that. Over. Now. Yep. Down in the hole. And that's just a little light pretensioner for your trim. Yeah, it's not quite. Nice. Just, just, yeah. it's just so. Just yeah. so it's like it keeps it in place. It just helps um, when you when your thread cuts off. If it's yeah. too tight, it makes your tail too short. Now, if you yeah. if you heel back, yeah, I mean, that's going to be tight. Yeah. And then quickly yeah. pull it in. Oh yeah. Because what happened that after yeah. a period of time that that oh, little release locked. will time out. Yeah. yeah. That's and locked. then up over. And, and when it, if you want it to reactivate yeah. again, you just and pull some thread through, you just heel back or use your knee lever. Oh. And it'll just, it'll release and pull. Oh, yeah, there it goes. But then it'll it's close again. You'll actually hear That's it close. That's that locks. Yeah, yeah just you'll, like you'll sort of see it and hear it, yeah. So I'm going under. Yep. Up. Yep, same, same. Lock. So there's, you're not going to have to learn anything yeah. there, which no. is good. It's just the same old stuff. True. Oh, did I take your collar out? Yeah. Have I got a nice little collar, have I? <laughs> yeah, there is in there. Yeah, look, okay, now, so, oh. pop that in, we lock the in. Now, what that is, yeah, a lot of new machines right. are coming with that now. That's oh. so you can take that out, because this they used to this used to be really long. Yeah. So you can get much lighter foot pressures, you don't get feed marks. Oh. So now we put that in now, we've got a much lighter foot. So we don't get squishy marks oh, on our yeah, fabric. Mm. Yeah, especially like on some leathers. Leathers are the worst. Things like yeah. that. Yeah, so that's what that little space is for. 
Cool. Yeah, so wow. that's, that's, that's a new addition. The jacks are doing that too now. I might have needed my glasses to thread my needle here. The, um, the jacks are running... Um, yeah, it's just it's split a bit. I've got a 130, I think, in there. I've given you some different sizes. Oh, that's threaded nicely. That, oh, yeah. I'm liking the feel of this thread. Yeah, yeah so what, if you drop and lift it and rip it out now, yeah, and get, just pull it when you lift the foot because yeah. it gives you that little... That's one thing I don't like about it. There is a, yeah. a setting that... I'll, I'll get Peter to work on that because mm. that, 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 this is a little motor here that's opening your tension. It's yeah. a thing at the back here. Yep. And we can make it open for longer. Oh, so okay. we'll, we'll work yeah, on that. Little settings yeah. and things like yeah, exactly, that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's... Now, now, I'm going to pull my thread up, so okay. I'm going to use now. Yeah, I want so, to take advantage of all the... Two, two things. things. Firstly, I never, ever bring my thread up. Never, oh, yeah. ever. Leave it down. Um, but at the same time saying that, um, you want to leave an appropriate tail underneath. Yeah, not too I'm long. not sure what I've got. So if you just pop that out, yeah. pop your bobbin out. Let's get her out. Look, it's not a bad principle to turn your machine over. Yep. Um, so essentially yep. what I'd leave probably an inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter, like, oh, not, yeah. not long. The bobbin's there, it's only got to go up to there, yeah, so... Okay, so, yeah. If one, you leave a tail half. like that, then yeah. it won't jam up, you don't need good. to... I never, ever do that, but yeah. mind you, you've got to realise that when I do that, yeah. I'm, I'm not making a product, right? I'm test yeah. sewing. Yeah. So, to be fair, I'm not trying to make something look tidy yeah. either, I'm just trying to get yeah. it... Yeah, and when yeah. I've... No, I always I say that when I'm teaching my bag making classes too. When you've cut out all your pattern and you've got your materials, Use your scraps. Exactly right. And test your stitches out. Check your tension. Yep. Check the stitch length. Are you happy with that? Totally. Yeah, is everything through? Because once right? you've done that now, once you've cut your first time, everything's yep. sorted. So if you just leave a short tail yep. and, and do a test sew yep. and cut off, yep. that's it. Let's just do a test. We'll do, double it yep. up. This is just some vinyl that I had here, some scrap. So I'll just pop that under. Oh, I love that. Oops. Yeah, it'll take a while to get used to the markings there. Let's do a quarter inch. So. Yeah. Oh, actually, and the edge of my foot is pretty well lined up on that corner. Yeah, as well, yeah, yeah, right. So that's nice. So your back tack's not too fast now. Mm. Okay, we might have turned it off. Yeah, we might have turned that off. Listen to that. Yeah. Quite quiet. Now, if you go really yep. slow, you'll find that you should just get about to be able to get 100 RPM out of it. I'll look one tap of yeah, the Yeah, you should get that too, but the low speed is really low because we've already slowed yep. it down. Okay, turn. Oh, so yeah, really nice low speed. Most machines are set at 200, yeah. but there's oh. a secret menu where you can get it down to 100. Yeah, so when I'm doing some fine detail. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And I'm coming up close to a corner. And then what you can do is, now if you just yeah. tap, start tapping your half stitch. Yeah, so the, the first sec, one was a, a quarter, quarter, and then that's this a one's a half. So if you just tap that and tap it a couple oh, yeah. of times. Oh yeah. So, so that just shortens your it. yeah, that just shortens yep. your stitch and you can drop it needle up, needle down, whatever you want. And then the quarter? Yep. So if you're just coming up against the corner, you can really shorten oh, it up. Oh yeah, how good is that? Because normally I've like gotta lift my foot up mm. and try and line it up and mm, you know, mm, like yeah. it, but Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh yeah. Oh that's great. Half stitch. Yeah. Yep. And then my next button. Yeah, so you've got your needle up down, so that's just your instant needle up down. Uh, yeah. Or you can, or if you push it really yeah. fast, it does yeah. a, it do a half. Oh. Or if you hold it in, you can run with it. Combinations, yeah. Oh. Or a full stitch. Yeah. So all different combinations. Little. Yeah, half stitch, or full stitch, or running. Oh. Three different sort of modes. And then oh, you've got your reverse. So your reverse is just while you're sewing, you can and do your reverse. Yep. So reverse. And see how it goes, so many times it goes back yeah, over yeah, itself. Yeah. Nice. Providing you keep it sort of, you know, straight Look at that. Yeah, it goes back over itself, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And this is my first go on this yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah. It's all, it's just, um. Oh, yeah. the corners are beautiful. Oh, this little stitch here, that's going to be so. Yeah, heavy. you get, you may be going over a strap and you want to reinforce yeah. something or. Yeah. Um, yeah, stop But I'm doing like, open. um, zipper pocket overlays and things like that and I want to get, like, I'm. A half a stitch off meeting the you know that's exactly it what it's for i can just do that and yep. crawl to it yeah so you can look at your stitch and go right half stitch is 2.5 yeah. mil yeah. and a quarter is 1.25 so if you're only one mil off you can just yeah, double just tap, tap yeah and yeah and we'll pin it on there yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. it's like a match up. Um, yep. And then um, it's, uh, it's a heel back for your... Yeah. doll, like normal. Um, so it's a heel yep. back for your cutoff. So you've got your half heel back and then your full. Yep. So oh. our, back, our back backs oh. are turned off. How quiet was that? You yeah, no, that's that it. Cut. Yeah, foot lift and cut and... and oh, oh, let's if you do turn, that again. If you turn your back tack <laughs> on, they'll say just a double. Yeah, let's do that. Double, normal double back tack. Yeah, so, so that's, that's a double. And then you've got a triple. Uh, and then off. Triple. Yep. Triple. Let's do a triple. Let's really go nice. for it. Yeah, triple's really nice. Especially it. on a one stitch because it, it's yeah, just really let's compact. Do it. Okay. So ready? Oh, I can control that. Yeah, I can make it a lot slower than that too, mind you. So if now you want. by back tack. Yep. Hell, hard heel back. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because if I just do a little tap, it's lifting my foot. That's correct. And then I just press it You made your rear cut, to hit cut I... off, yeah. But you didn't even hear the blade. No, no, that's because it's a stepping motor. Yeah. Yeah. So that's your, now, see how yeah. you get that? That's your nipper. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, so it all depends. Some people don't like the nipper on. Um, it all depends because yeah. you've always got you've always got that, right, which you can't get rid of anyway because yeah, you you've got to yeah, start the first stitch. You've got to start, stitch. otherwise it's going to unthread. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so that's just one stitch back tack. Ah. Yeah, that's just a single stitch back tack. Yeah. So that's, depends on... Um, a lot of times that's all you want. Yeah. You don't always need to have... No, no, because no, when you're stitching things so long, if you're doing three stitches, you're doing yeah. 15 mil. Yeah, yeah. and like, that's a, quite lengthy. Like you're going one, two, yeah. three. Like that's, that's right. That's overkill. Yeah, that's overkill. Stitch length. Just yeah. to stop unraveling. Yeah. That you can hide that better in... You can yeah. hide that better yeah. when you're stitching you over it or whatever. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this thread... So if I wanted to, do we need to seal the ends or, you know, how like on your nylon threads? And no, 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 I, I wouldn't. I, I don't, Just I don't, snip, leave that, a little bit. That's a nice thing if yeah. you want to look nice. Get your, get your little, yeah. little um, fire yeah, starter thing. And just, yeah, absolutely. But it is a polyester. It may, I don't know whether it's um, how to go, but just play with it. Yeah, no, I can, because... Um, well, I'll show you after two. I'll do a video. Mm. And that won't waste your time here, and I'll show them the threads that you've given. Yeah, me, yeah. And I'll do some of the different colours. Yeah, and then yeah. see how they look. Because I'm going to have to thread my bobbins with them all anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And they do. And they are, I just really like they're just a love. They've got beautiful, beautiful colours, and, and it feels. Yeah. It's not got that wiry. That's feel. what I don't like about the bonded nylons, yeah. and they're really noisy through the machine. Yeah. These aren't noisy through the machine because they're supple. That just feels yeah. beautiful. And they and stay together nice. Stitching. Yeah, let's have a look in the light there, see yeah, if I can see what the tension yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, you know, there we go. Look good. Yep. The other thing, just um, we don't want to go too light on here because then you'll get a bit of a waggling if it, the pressure's a bit low. Yeah. But you just go to the point where you, you, you're let's not try getting to do feed it marks. on this leather, hey? Yeah, yeah. This, if anything's going to mark, this leather's going to mark. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So we'll do leather's, just a bit on the top. Leather's the worst. Yep, leather's the worst. And this sort of leather is a notorious for it. Yep. So let's just it's not worried about straightness or anything. Oh, I love that. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's not Nothing. really doing anything at all. No, no that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So that's not that foot pressure we'll just nice. Let's do it from this side, honey. Let's have a look. Not that I normally. But sometimes I might want to avoid. A little bit tight now on that. A little bit tight. Yeah. yeah. Do a good half turn, one turn at a yeah. time, you know, that's no problem. A little bit at a time. Oh, did we run Just out of... Just check your bobbin, yeah. Check my bobbin. Because we've changed things there. Just see it didn't... Um... You can see it's just pulled tight. Unless it's just got a fuzz ball. Did it get a fuzz ball? Looks like it kind of did. Oh, it? yeah, come out, yeah. Probably me jerking around on there too. Okay. That's one thing too. I'm uh, with um, uh, when you're filling the bobbins too with that thread yep. on. If you go too full, yeah, you know what I mean? then it wants to all jump off. Yeah, I've like on my other my Voltex net, I adjusted it so that I've got still a fair bit of room. Yeah, I got, yeah, because yeah. it holds a lot of thread. Yeah, that's like. right. So now I only need to trim or yeah. that much. Yeah, like. yeah, and you'll get to know. Yeah. You'll see it'll either start or it won't, yeah. and you'll know well, you've gone yeah, too short. You get yeah, to gauge it. Yep. Lock that in. God, I can't tell you how much I love these. Yeah, things. yeah, they're good. They've been Everyone great. needs a pair of jacks. Yeah, they've been so popular, honestly. Oh. Yeah, I've sold hundreds yeah. and hundreds and hundreds of them. And I've gotten into the habit now of online dusting machines. So they're even there for my thread snips. Yeah. Like, I don't need to have thread snips and scissors and yep. this and that. That's just, I've got my gorgeous scissors. And that's all I need. Yeah. Look at that stitching. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I love the back stitching on that. Look at that. Perfect. Yep, top's not going to feed marks. No. No. I could quite comfortably do that. Look at that on the back. Yeah, no yeah, there's no, no marks, teeth marks. Yeah, no that's nothing. Good. So the pressure's just light. You're yeah. still going, you can go quite a bit lighter, but that's not yeah. bad where that is actually. And I've got a few um, custom order leather bags to make mm. them. My customers have been waiting because they know I've been getting this oh, new yeah, machine. Yeah. So they've been patiently waiting. Yeah, so feed marks, are, feed out. marks yeah. are totally yeah. uncool when it comes to sewing. Yeah, better. and especially when you're doing like, you know, all your top stitching and all of that. You just don't want yeah. to. I'm going to try, I've got this as a off cut scrap piece from when I was doing the base of a bag and I skived too mm, much out. Mm. This has got some Decaville Heavy in it, mm -hmm. plus leather. I'm just going to fold that over. We'll see how that goes. No, it'll, it'll go through. Let's test that. I'll go through four of those. Because that's pretty thick yeah. and dense. This is a quite a dense leather. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's very rigid, isn't it? Yeah, the bag for this came out beautiful. Yeah. So I'm not worried about the straight lines. I'm... Oh, look at that. Yeah, that nice. That's thread. That's a nice thickness. So what yeah, thickness is that's that a, thread? That's a 20. That's a 20. Yeah. So I've got the 40 uh, coming just for the lining, so you can run a thinner needle. Yeah. And you can also run, if you're doing your linings on this, you could use it. Yeah, on my, um, on my old brother. And then, yeah, so I've got Straight 10 colours stitch. in that. Now, then I have 60 colours in this one. Yeah. Once they arrive. I'm just going to... We'll do a yeah, test. Yeah, I could do, you could do three times. It won't. It doesn't. They don't care. Let's go here because this is like I often see videos and that where they'll do you know show that this will go through eight layers of fabric, but they're not showing like it's going from two layers yeah. to four layers to six. That's like right. stepping, you when know, up climbing. and down, yes. and that's where you get the skip stitches if you're going to yep. get skip stitches. I'll just get that a bit. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, no, you can adjust. You can, you can also adjust to how much height your feet climb too. But, yep. um, but once you do that, you've got to just um, back you your speed off a bit. Now, bit. usually what will happen is it'll, it'll hang up on the heel. Yeah. I'll yeah, that, that one oh, did. Yeah. So that's all to your feet. Exactly right. The, the differential between yeah. what you're coming off and what you're going yeah. on to. That just stepped down. Because the, nice. the inner foot has to touch before the outer foot can release. Yep. Yeah, because yep. they can lever off each other. And that's where sometimes what I've done in the past, so you might have another idea there, sometimes I've just put like I've Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can climb off. But there is an adjustment the um, that you can make. Um, and I think with this one, it's that adjustment. Oh, I haven't even done little, it yet. Yeah. There's a donor. Just adjust how high they lift. I think I adjusted yeah. that on my Voltex. Yep. But this it's, was it's, exposed and it was That's in right. It's exactly right. Adjust Same there. adjustment. Yeah. 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 No, that's fantastic. But this is not this is this is lifting fairly young. Yeah. The height's not bad. No, that's pretty good for that. So you can even just slowly go down just give yeah, it once that here. Once that outer toe grabs it, yeah. then you're then you're set. Yeah. And this, yeah, you shouldn't get any slippage or anything like that. Beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. I'm looking forward now to playing because I like to when you get a new machine, play with everything. Mm. Like get in there, get your scraps, get your samples, play with your different stitch yeah, lengths and yeah. all of that. Because you've got to get to know your machine. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you can't just that's the other thing I um, when I teach sewing classes, you can't just buy a machine, then just think, okay, I'm gonna make this U Butte whiz bam bag. Yeah. Without getting to Without, know your machine. No, that's right. And and yeah, yeah, because yeah, you're, you're not going to be making too many boo boos. No, um, no. Let's move that in. Let's just. Okay. Um, and I'm just doing some programming for us. And were you saying too that Peter's going to do some videos on the on yeah, side machines is, yeah. on the panel? All the features and functions? Because there's obviously way more we can be doing than what we're doing in here. In this little demo. So, yeah. So these are back tax bits. Yep. So now you'll find it now if you now you're trying now you'll find your back tax yeah. are much slower again. Okay. Which Let's is a problem. Yeah, because you can machine. see the thread on this one then. Mm -hmm. Nice clear. Oh that's so that back tax yeah. not so aggressive. Oh that's really controllable. Yep. Like so you can, you can adjust that to program yeah, four and that's five. Nice. Because you're not in a hurry to finish it off, so why, no, why yeah, make it it's your last so aggressive? Yeah, usually yeah. it's your last stitch. That's right. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, that's good. So that's, that's that a good. through there. Yep. Now, if you want to do your, try that pattern stitch, let's do yeah, try let's the do first a pattern. pattern stitch. Yep, let's get in here. 
we go over in the middle here. I'll just get that screw through there. I like the open toe. Yeah, that is a nice toe. Yeah, like those. yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's stitch away. Ah, yep. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, so that's just a, like a decorative that's stitch. Nice. It just, it's just taking advantage yeah. of the stepping motors that because I'll these machines have stepping motors. Get that up a bit closer to the camera there. I'll do some more videos as well there and show. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I like one. that. Try that one now, see what that one does. Do that one? Yeah. We're already getting the feel for this machine. So. Oh, that's it. I just now. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you've done a like a program, so yeah. you do so many stitches and, and then stops. yeah, the heel back now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've programmed the lock and then so many yeah, stitches. Yeah, try that one, try that one now to see what we've got here. Okay. Yeah, that's a different yep. program again. Yep, so we've done a one this one we did like it looks like a triple lock. Yeah. And then we've done a single. We'll get those videos yeah. for you. Yeah, soon. that'd be great. I think we're back to normal. Back to our normal. Yeah, back to our normal. Woo! Yeah. Yep, normal stitching there. Yeah, back to straight Look stitching. Look how beautiful that stitching is. Yeah, see, so yeah, it's, 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 you've got that little bit of diagonal yeah. slant. That's just about, we can just tighten our top tension. Yeah. We'll pull it a bit straighter. Okay. It's just because it, it, yeah, the stitch is formed that way and it comes from out, out of your left hand scrap. side into we'll your. We'll get another scrap. I've got another piece here so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Let's board it in a little bit. Yeah, you? you can. Yeah, you can just keep yeah. you can tighten up. So, so you tighten it up with thick thread. You, you always get that where it sort of it comes yep. in from the it comes out of the left hand side of the bottom yep. thread and cross to the right and back to the left and cross to the right. So you get actually a zigzag look. Looks more like um like a hand, hand stitch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That looks so nice. I like that. That looks good. And the heavier the thread you go, the more that'll that'll happen. As that'll well. happen. Yeah. yeah. The thread yeah. Sort of... No, that's beautiful. And of course, I'm yeah. already feeling like speed demon on it. Yeah. <laughs> what speed? What? I've only you could sew that fast all the time. Hey, like yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have your bag done. You know, within an hour. That was two thousand. <laughs> that's a, that's a fifteen hundred stitches. Yeah. Fifteen hundred. Okay, million. let's do this one. Not that you ever go this fast. I'd do that sort of speed when I'm doing a strap. Yeah. Because sure. like you can control it. You can it. feed it, yeah, yeah. With your hands. So like yeah. you can get a nice like you can still got good control. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe twelve hundred, you know, but yeah, once you because you can start slow. And then once and you get speed one hundred, so yeah, you just sort of keep going. That's beautiful. I'm loving the feel of this thread. Yeah, like it's just nice. you feel it at the ends there, and it's not. It is. Boring. It's very supple. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Um, well, that's probably enough anyway. Yeah. You get it's, started yeah, and yeah, everything. You're not new to it, so it's not like you got to yeah. learn the whole thing. Yeah. It's all, all the, yeah. the, the, the 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 icons and that are similar, yeah. and they do the same yeah. job yeah. as your other machine. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop this video and then I might just ask you a couple of quick questions yeah, before do, you head off. Questions. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Have, enjoy some family time. Yeah, all good, let's on get the in on. <laughs> okay, let's stop that. 